In this video, we're going to introduce parametric equations. According to legend, this is how the Cartesian plane came to be. The great mathematician René Descartes was lying in his bed very sick. And there was a fly on the ceiling. And he asked himself, if I wanted to record the location of this fly, how could I do it? And he came up with the now famous solution that he would need an x coordinate and a y coordinate like that. Let's consider the same situation, except that now suppose the fly is crawling around the ceiling. It starts here and it crawls over there. And we have two pieces of information we want to record. We want to record the location, but we also want to keep track of temp information. When is the fly here? When is the fly there? The way we do this is to introduce a third variable. We call it t because it usually represents a time. And as our fly crawls along the ceiling, its x and its y coordinate change with time. That is to say that x the x coordinate is a function of time, and y, the y coordinate, is also a function of time. In this situation, we say that this is a parametric equation. And the word parametric comes from parameter. T is the parameter. And the curve we get from a parametric equation is called a parametric curve. And the points on a parametric curve are the points, let me make sure my portrait isn't covering this. The points on the parametric curve are the points of the form f of t comma 
G of T. A few more definitions. You'll notice that this parametric curve has a beginning point and an end point. For example, the fly could land on the ceiling here, crawl around for a bit, and then take off again. So we normally think of this time parameter as being in a closed interval. And this represents a start, and this represents a finish. If this point is F of A, ooh, kind of crowded, the point F of A, comma, G of A is called the initial point, the point F of B. G of B is called the terminal point. And this interval here, the interval from A to B, is called the parameter. interval. Those then are kind of the elementary non-calculus definitions related to parametric equations. We'll discuss them further and in particular discuss them from a calculus to this point of view in a later video.